today's Gospel, Thursday, August 1, is taken from St. Matthew chapter 13, verses 47 to 53. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus, it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faith for Reflection is by Brother Odi Romance of the Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Many are called, but few can afford. Derived from the gospel, we used to joke as former seminarians, many are called, but few can afford. I used to think of this line every time I see and give talks to Life in the Spirit seminars by the hundreds in attendance in the early years of the charismatic renewal movement. How many will respond to God's call and stay till the end? How many will stand the grind? How many can afford? Or how many will be chosen? The church welcomes all to accept Christ in their lives. But not everyone in the church lives Christ in their lives. That's why we see from the sea to the net, then to shore, then some to buckets, but some thrown away. The process is established as initiation first, baptism to confirmation, then growing maturely in faith, hope, and love, manifested in charity and uprightness, until the judgment where the angels come. But all start from the church, which is represented by the net. We are reminded then that being in the church is important for salvation, but not a guarantee to it. Jesus, sent by the Father because of his great love, redeemed us into the church by his death and resurrection, and the Holy Spirit was given to us that we may live in God's love until the angels separate the wicked from the righteous. Let us pray. Lord, help me enjoy and live the salvation you have given me until the end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.